And I'm just, again, the, the original premise is that steady pressure is one of the hardest things for a horse to learn to really accept at a deeper level. And yet it's one of the most important things that we humans need them to give to for farrier work, for vet work, for riding. Hey everybody, um, as you can see, I am not in my normal office. Um, I'm actually out here in the beautiful Kanab, Utah at Best Friends Animal Sanctuary. fun project the next couple weeks we're gonna be starting about 10 colts and so I'm just teaching a colt starting course out here so I'm here with uh, Jen Reed uh, the manager of the horse department and Jen can you tell us a little bit about your role here at best friends and uh, what we're up to yeah so like Ryan said I'm the manager of horse haven which is part of best friends animal society and this is the sanctuary that we have here in southern Utah and uh, on this glorious spring day, we're lucky to be prepping for our cold start, which is going to happen tomorrow. Um, I think it was Tom Dorns that used to say, there's not a bad place on a horse to hang a rope. And um, again, as you guys know, I'm really big on getting them to follow a feel and steady pressure and um, using that to really get them to choose to to act like a partner and not go into those natural instincts to, to push back into it and, and try to... Uh, to save themselves so the way I'm gonna start this and you guys could choose to have a halter and lead rope on when you do this I'm I'm gonna to try to do it at lip like with just just a rope on him like kind of at Liberty so to speak and I want him to get used to this rope touching him everywhere because yesterday he was pretty goosey about the rope touching his hind legs so this position is also a way that you can get the horse comfortable with you being behind him see because I pushed his front end away from me and now look at where I'm at and he put me there, right? So this is a way that you can kind of work from different perspectives. See, I want him to get moving. And again, you guys can do this with the halter on too. You don't have to do this with the rope, but that move of just teaching them to, uh, to move over. Now you can see as he's moving around here, he gets to feel that rope all over with him and it's staying on him. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna let him wear that until he's comfortable with it, okay? Once I see him kind of looking more comfortable with it, then I'm gonna put a feel on it and I'm gonna ask him to give, okay? So I don't want him to turn and face me, so I'm gonna put a little feel here, a little feel, a little feel. And then he went, oh my gosh, it's got me. Now I don't want him ideally to turn into it, so I'm gonna hold here. Hold, hold, so he's gotta think his way through pressure. He's trying to react and he's going to a good answer which is facing me. That answer has worked for him before. And there he figured out the puzzle. Now he gets relief. So what, the, what he's gonna learn, I'm gonna put him in a bunch of different situations and what he's gonna learn again and again is panicking and getting worried about it doesn't get relief. Thinking his way through the puzzle gets relief. So what, what happens is if, if we control the horse's body too much in a positional standpoint where like we have the halter on him and we have you know different ropes and we make him do the thing, you can set it up in a way where there wasn't a lot of thinking that happened on his end. Does that make sense? But, it, but he had, you can see he had a lot of choices there that he can make. Um, and then he finally, finally chose to make a good one. So. Now we'll set it up, we'll do that again. And again, not only did he get relief for thinking, he got a lot of relief for thinking, okay? Because it was a harder puzzle. And that's, that's what I'm getting at that I want you guys to get, get going with with your horses where you're asking them for harder and harder puzzles to make the, the other easy stuff that actually look easy to them. Okay, so again, I'll let him, let him wear this rope. Oh, <laughs> he goes, I like that answer. Oh. Just watch how quick his movements are as we go. He's doing a lot of reactions instead of a lot of responses. But as we go through this system, 
you're going to see his reactions are going to turn into responses. You can see why, because he's trying to turn so quickly now. Because he found relief doing that last time. So he's trying to go to it, but he needs to wait on me because I need to make sure he's comfortable. Part of the deal here is him wearing that rope around his hind legs right now. You know, so I don't want to skip through that, that step quickly. And as he's cantering, then I know, you know, he's still worried about it. Once he can kind of trot, trot and walk and slow down. See there he switched. Do you guys see how that's a slower trot? And he's not cantering. You guys see it? Those are the little signs. See the trot? Those are the little signs that tell me, okay, now I could put a little feel here. Let him work through it. So now I'm gonna put it around his, you could put, you could, now you could do it around their barrel or you could do it around a front leg. Like I could ask him to just take one step into this rope with a front leg. Or I could do two two legs. Okay. So now I'm preparing him for that saddle, right? <laughs> so don't release it here. This is really critical. If you if you do this with your horses, with the 22 or with the 45 foot rope here. <laughs> see there he quit and he looked in he switched he got relief didn't he i want him to stay out there though see this is when i talk about releasing a horse on forward this is what i mean he wanted to come in and get relief in here with the middle i said no see he's wanted to do it again nope you need to find relief out there under these conditions you guys see it now I could release him. I could let go of that rope. But he's, he's finding relief moving forward. Now that time I released him when he looked in because I wanted him to come in. Kind of fun, huh? One of the most important qualities that you guys can have is a real strong focus on what you're doing. Okay. Now, again, it's got to be an achievable thing that you're asking them to do, but horses are masters and experts at outmaneuvering us. Okay. And so if they start getting out of, out of a position and you release, and then you, you, you start managing the position that they're getting into, you're following their idea instead of them following your idea. You need to be leading the dance. Does that make sense? That's a little thing, but that's one of the things I saw yesterday happening a little bit, is again, like I went to do something else and he kept moving away from me. I stayed focused on my idea. I just followed him wherever he went. And then when he, when he stopped, then I quit, <laughs> right? I didn't, I didn't stop what I was doing, draw him back in and restart, okay? And that's a really key element that you're leading the dance when you're playing with him, okay? So now we got the rope, we can let it, we can have it be loose and let it just touch those hind legs like this. That's good, good exposure for him. It's what I like about this one, especially for him, Michelle, is see how this one's now kind of inconsistent because it's loose. It's just kind of bomb, bombing around down there. And again, yesterday this horse had quite a bit of trouble with ropes touching him. Um, then the next one I could go to is up a little higher right here, and then I could put a little feel on it. Now, when I do this one, when I'm doing this, I'm thinking of like, someday I might drag a log on this horse. Someday I might, you know, pony another horse off him. I want him to wear this rope. I want to be able to pull on this and have him not move. And then I'll release it. So I'm releasing it when he doesn't move, not when he does yield to it. And again, a lot of them will buck and try to kick it off and things like that. And then you just try to stay with it. If you have a horse that's really committed to bucking the rope off, wait to do this until you have a saddle on them so that the, the rope will hang up on the saddle and it won't come off of them, okay? Because you could teach them to buck and then the rope falls off. Then what are you training the horse to do? Buck it off, yeah. And it's a real big bucking problem. 
Oh, come on. That was funny. Okay. Now, I'm going to put it around one hind leg. I like to put it up above their hock there like that. And um, first, again, just let them wear it. Again, release them with forward movement. The answer isn't stop. The answer is move forward. Find relief out there. You're going to see a lot of these horses have tr been trained a good standstill, which is great, but that's not what we need for colt starting. We need them to find forward. So they need to find relief moving forward out there. You, and you guys aren't going to know what I mean by that fully until you get on your horse and have a hard time getting them to move. <laughs> and then you're going to go, I get why you want forward so much <laughs> as the answer. Because it's not a good feeling when you're on a horse that won't move. It's, you feel like that first step's going to be a doozy. Versus if you get on a horse and they're, they feel comfortable to wiggle around and start to move, you're like, oh, we're moving. We're good. All right, first try, check. You know. So now I'm going to pull on it and I'm going to ask him to stop. Right there. He stopped and he gave and I released it. And there's another lick and chew. Can you guys see how this would be a little bit more challenging than some of the things we did yesterday? But yet, boy, really beneficial, like getting them to really think through pressure and really understand following a feel. And I'm just, again, the, the original premise is that steady pressure is one of the hardest things for a horse to learn to really accept at a deeper level. And yet, it's one of the most important things that we humans need them to give to for farrier work, for vet work, for riding, for, for saddling and grooming, right? It's like steady pressure is just everywhere. We, we use it all the time with horses. So let's just take a little extra time to really prepare and do a very thorough job with understanding steady pressure. Not just, can they back up off the halter? Can they come forward? Can, they, can we push them and, and them step over? That's, that's still fairly surface level.